Good morning, fellow YouTubers. Welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel. And today, we are starting the day out with watermelon. Um, as you know, I pretty much start every day out with watermelon, which is watermelon. But, um, I saw on Ravana's channel that she was doing this thing on periods, like what she eats in a day, period. So today, I'm gonna try to copy Raw Vanna's What I Eat in a Day um, on my period, and I'm gonna give a review of how I think that does for me and my digestion and my period and my energy. So, let's put it to the test. Okay guys, it's one of those days where um, I've been working a lot around the house and I don't have any makeup on. It's just been like run, rabbit, run all day. And so I've had the watermelon and I have not had iodine today. Um, but I'm getting ready to eat this beautiful mango and I'm so excited about it because I was gonna do raw vanas um, on my period thing, but um, I decided not to do that because um, I really didn't wanna make the smoothie that she makes. I don't like making smoothies, really. I would rather just eat fruit and then have a salad later. Um, I really don't even like smoothies because I feel like that our bodies like do better if we actually chew our food because of the saliva and the enzymes that um, are released in the mouth and it helps to actually digest your food and I know it's true guys because when I chew my food really really good and I feel that saliva moving around in my mouth with my food and it just goes down better and my digestion is better. and. So, I mean, there really is something to all of that. Um, so, I am going to enjoy this little mango. Well, it's actually a big mango, but um, I'm not gonna have anything major because I've still got a lot of work to do and things to accomplish around here. My dad's coming to visit and uh, he kind of gave me a lecture on my house. And I mean, you know, he's like, on, you need to keep your house cleaner and I was like uh, I just had a bike rack a year ago <laughs> but my body is healed so I am feeling so much better that I can keep my house clean but one of the things I realized when I had my bicycle wreck was that I was trying to do too much um, I was like trying to do everything myself and That's just not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you live in a family, and this is what my dad said, the same lecture, he was like, when you have a family, and there's four people that live there, all four people live in that house and they all need to take part in the chores. And because that's what family does, and I was like, yeah, I know, and I realized that when I had my prolapse, and I had my um, organ problem and all that stuff. And, you know, when I was down on my back and I couldn't eat, I couldn't do anything. Like, I literally could not wash the dishes. I could not do the laundry. I could not do anything. It was crazy. Um, so, yeah. Um, lesson learned, you know, lesson learned. Um, and, uh, but on that note, I'm going to go ahead and get off here and eat my mango and I'm just going to relax a little bit. So I'll see you a little bit later. Okay guys, I decided to do oatmeal again today because I ate it yesterday and it was so good. After the mango, I was just not quite satisfied. So I'm gonna do some oats with some of the blackstrap molasses again. 
and I just love the oats. Like the, um, these are just like some really uh, cool oats I got at the um, Aldi's. So they're like two bucks for that huge thing of oats. I think that's how much it was, but it was not much at all. I almost bought another can of it because I'm almost out, and then I was like, no, I'm gonna use this up first. Um, but this, um, I'm just cooking this up. I just added um, one, a half a cup of oats and one cup of water, and I put set it up on really, really high to bring it to a boil, and as soon as it starts to boil, I'm going to knock it down to low. And that is like a little trick I do. Um, it like really cooks it really, really fast. And you just, you have to stand here a couple minutes, but it's okay, because it's so good. And oh my gosh, like I love oats. I don't know what it is. And I, I did that for a couple of uh, days. I was like, oh, I love beans and I was like eating beans but now I'm like sick of beans so I don't want any so it's kind of weird I think your body tells you what you want and then after it gets enough of it you're done you're ready to move on to something new that's why I don't like um, specific diets and staying on them for a really long time because I think our body craves different things that all the time and we're not robots and I don't okay see how high that is so I'm gonna go ahead and knock it down to low. So I turn that on low, and I'm actually gonna pull it off here a minute. See how it's still simmering? Okay. See how that stopped simmering now? Now I'm gonna put it back over here. Let it simmer a minute. And yeah, so I'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, check this out. I got a banana bag. I didn't even know what this was, but I got it at the flea market in a grab bag for $3. I got to fill up a Walmart bag um, for $3 and this was in it and it was brand new. And I saw these at the health food store and they're probably about 10 bucks. But it's just a little canvas bag. It's got something on the inside. I don't know, it's like plastic or something. I don't know, some type of netty stuff. But I actually, these look exactly the same as they did last night when I put them in the fridge. So it really does help to keep the bananas from going um, brown. Put them in there, close it up, and stick it back in your refrigerator drawer. Um, but I wanted to show you this. I'm gonna go, I've chopped up some banana. I put in just a teeny tiny bit of uh, flax seed, like probably a half of a teaspoon, nothing major. And um, because, yeah. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put my black dry molasses because as I told you, I'm doing this new thing with the black straw molasses. I'm gonna to try to eat at least three teaspoons. I, was, I said three tablespoons a day, but I'm just gonna to try to do a tablespoon and maybe a little bit more as we go because right now I'm almost out, as you can see. I'm gonna to have to order some. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put a tablespoon in there and gobble this up. I'm about to run out of battery, so okay. Okay guys. I've got some jelly toast here. All it is sourdough bread with uh, raspberry jam on it. So yeah, this is really good. Okay guys, um, I'm taking two B complex of the Garden of Life and I'm taking two of my multivitamin thorn supplements uh, for women and then I'm taking one uh, calcium of the my kind part of the garden of, garden of life and then I'm taking one of the um, collagen builders for the uh, garden of life and it's my kind okay guys we just went on a watermelon haul check this out I got this little bad girl for a dollar She's a little and 
she's got a bad place on the end. I'm just gonna nip that off and eat her first. And then, uh, you know, this is a pretty good sized one. And uh, these were $5 each. These people grew them themselves. That's why they're a little expensive. These are orange. This is orange on the inside and this one's called pink and stars. See, it's got stars on it. Isn't that cool? And it's pink. And this is called a rattlesnake. And that is called, that's one of the orange ones. It's like this one, but it's smaller. And uh, she gave me a pumpkin. And then she had these here cucumbers. These here. Until I just went shopping at a farm. She had these three for a dollar. And these, look at these beauties. They just came off the vine. And oh my God, they're good and firm. At Kroger's right now, this same size cucumbers cost a 99 cents. And I got these for three for a dollar. I can make some serious cucumber juice. And uh, this here, I got some... These were three for a dollar, or actually they were a quarter a piece. Guys, you just cannot beat this. And uh, this is a local farmer, and she gave me this pumpkin. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to cut it and I'm gonna eat it. I'm going to make some pumpkin uh, puree or pumpkin dressing, I don't know. I'm gonna make something out of it. I may grade some up, put it on top of my salad. I may make some pumpkin soup. Who knows? Who knows? Possibilities are endless, but let's get these in and wash them off and refrigerate them. And I'm stoked and excited. I thought watermelon was over, but looks like it's just begun. Hey guys, I'm really tired and I'm drinking some water. What I do is I've been filling up this, um, it's an apple juice thing and I've just been filling it up. But one of the things that I take um, for anemia issues it's because I have a really super heavy periods at my age I'm going through menopause so I'm 47 and at this age women really their periods start to get really heavy so um, I'm taking this stuff that's called standard process let me show you what it looks like and it has helped a lot my kinesiologist recommended it um, iron tonic can you see that there was a glare 